brief of the house is quite different from what I do normally because this is not a client's house, it's our own home. I remember I walked up to this house. It was actually quite run down. It's all you can tell that it's, you know, it's been done up once or twice, but you know, it's not done by the original architect. So I walk up, I remember walking up, you know, to this narrow stairs uh, from the ground floor entry. And as I walk up, you know, this wheel just exploded onto my face. It's this like full living room, full of like, you know, basically just elm trees as if you are living on top of a tree house. And that's that moment that, you know, I thought to myself, oh, oh we are in trouble. Um, and yeah, we ended up, you know, buying the house. The area to me is actually interesting because to me it's almost like a Manhattan of modernist architecture. It's, there are a lot of experimental stuff done here in the 50s and the 60s. All the design of the house has been connected to its history and the immediate context, I would say. Connection is a really important thing in our brief. And this notion of connection has extended to the extension for our kids upstairs. You know, the volume is all about like, you know, having the children area for them. But at the same time, there's that rumpus, you know, sharing between the two of them. And my idea about that rumpus is, you know, how does it connect to the backyard as well as to the front with a wheel to our neighbor's trees. One thing that I've done is, you know, we have designed this kind of like drawbridge where it drops down mechanically by a hand crank and it immediately connect that floor onto the backyard. So what it means is, you know, the kids can physically, you know, bring themselves to the back. And on the opposite side of that rumpus is a set of bifold doors. When that opens up, you basically, it's as if you are on the balcony looking over the entire kind of study park area. I think the key theme of this house is about the connections. The courtyard itself is a connection, you know, throughout the entire house, you know, it's in the centre. And, you know, we use them, like, you know, when gas is over, kids, you know, playing, like, we open up the entire courtyard, it become a key connection pieces. The other connection piece, obviously, is the drawbridge upstairs that we have designed. You know, when it drops down, it immediately connects physically as well as visually to, from the upstairs to um, the backyard downstairs. And yeah, it's all about visual connection and physical connections. The whole house right now, it feels a little bit warehousey, like it's quite raw, it's quite sparse. Same thing has been extended to upstairs while, you know, things like raw steel, large glass panes, plywood surfaces, you know, industrial barn doors, those kind of things start to, you know, give a, a new kind of like materiality to the entire palette. To warm it up a little bit, I suppose the plywood, you know, is from floor to floor, ceiling to ceiling. When we are choosing materials or like, you know, finishes for this house, what is funny for me to realise is because of our Asian heritage, as well as perhaps the modernist connection to the Japanese design, our selection has this slight subconscious bend towards that idea. We start to find ourselves in quite, you know, most of the time in the private spaces like the bathrooms and, you know, our bedrooms, main bedrooms, um, you know, start to have these Japanese towels, um, wooden bath, cedar cladding, and even grass cloth um, wallpaper. And that all kind of, you know, did that subconsciously. So for us, sustainability is first of all to, to make the building envelope much better. And then of course, you know, it's the next step about electrifying everything from our appliances to air conditioning to everything and offset by a large solar system where, you know, basically we offset everything that we're spending here. And then of course, you know, things like, you know, rainwater 
at the end of the day, sustainability is our about our future generation. It's about our children. Um, you know, it's all about them. It does give a feeling of being in a tree house, and I suppose you know when I visited the house for the first time, that's how I felt, and you know, it still retained that beautiful kind of view that you know we are you know kind of on top of a tree, looking through you know the study park landscape. 